Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little review on this foundation. Um, I've already prepped and primed my face using, I used a bit of MUA Pro Base um, Primer Spray. I also used my e.l.f. Blemish Control everywhere else and just around my mouth and everywhere I've used Pore, um, pore Professional um, Pore Primer from Benefit. So let's get started. So I've tried this foundation out before and I find it's meant to be full coverage, um, buildable, if you've got vitamin E in it, um, prayer, prayer bane, I can't remember it, free, but it, 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 is, it is a matte finish. I found it very drying, so that's why I've proper primed my face and moisturized it. But I just found it very sheer because as this side, I've got a lot of blemishes, I've got a lot of discoloration here. I didn't find it covering it. So I am gonna color correct a little bit just to see how it handles with this and then go from there, okay? So I'm just gonna color correct quickly. Revolutions Orange. Um, I've kind of tried my, I've tried using my Mac Orange one or my Peach one. I've also tried using um, LA Girl in Orange as well. And I just felt, let me try this one because this actually dries down a lot. I'm using my finger one because I didn't want to use my Beauty Blender because I wanted to use the blender when it came to the foundation. Oh, it's orange. Mm-hmm, might have put a bit too much on. I'm colour corrected in places that I want to cover. So, my colour is 170, but I've also got 182 and 181. So, I'm gonna use 182 to contour around my area and on my cheekbones, but 180, 170 on the rest of my face. It's a very thick consistency. It comes with like a little spatula thing. So literally, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let that side dry down a bit more. So I'm gonna start from this side and just let... So all my makeup brushes are a bit dirty at the moment. So I'm just gonna use one of these paddle brushes just to blend it out. I know it looks a bit funny, but it blends out well. I'm just gonna use a B Cosmetics sponge just to press it in my skin as much as I can. And get into the crevices I can't really get in with a brush. So that's one side done with one spatula, basically. And it has given me some coverage, but as you can see under my eyes, there's not a lot. So I'm literally, I know. Ooh, I was lucky. I picked up the wrong bottle. I know I'm gonna conceal, but I do prefer a finish of a brush or a foundation under my eyes than I do a concealer. So that's that. And I'm just gonna put a bit more where I color corrected the... and push that into the skin rather than mix it in. It also dries down quite well. Like, it goes on light, but it, I would say it oxidizes a bit. So it's all right, definitely. So I'm gonna go on to this side. Okay, so I'm gonna basically use the same amount. I'm literally just gonna load up the spatula as much as I can and use what's on one side, on one part of my face. I'm 
put some up here, but I'm gonna, because I've got more, oh, good. Either I don't colour correct properly or something, but I feel when I colour correct, I can't cover up that pink that it comes through and it mixes. I'm gonna use my beauty pad, my sponge. feel with this sponge you get it takes the product off more than it puts on that's how I feel with it with this sponge definitely so I'm gonna use 182 I should be doing this quick because my partner's in the shower and you coming out soon and then I'll have to be quiet. So I'm just gonna put a little that there. And I'm just gonna use again the sponge to blend that in into my foundation. And so I've got it, I might as well use it. Not that I think it makes a difference. Maybe I could go a bit more ham. So it can dry down, but once you blend it out, you do have to be a bit quick. Got 170 and 164. So, which I'm going to use to conceal under my eyes and just down the middle and that lot. And any other blemish you. So, but I'm gonna use one. This is the concealer. It's very nice. But I feel like the stripper, what's inside the stopper, is just a bit too, it clears it too much. I'm also actually going to use my shade colour, which is 170, just below just so it then blends out a little better into the remain to my actual skin tone colour. And again, sponge. I'm literally just gonna use the MUA Ultra Fine Loose um, Setting Powder in Banana Bake. Like, that's how much came out. Oh. Excuse for the sound in the background. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Bake and Contour Brush from B Cosmetics to bake under my eyes. Here we go. Wow. 
See, that's what I felt about this. It has a bit of an iridescence because it's proper set in there. Like when I do this with my Revolution one, it don't do that. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this powder. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No sorry. So I bought two bronzers. One is Solar 120, Solar 130. Not that difference in colour. One is slightly red, redder than the other. Slightly. This one's more red than that one, just slightly. So if anything, I'm gonna go between the two on this brush to contour. Mm. Mmm, like in this brush. So, that is the face for now. I'm gonna go away, do the rest of my face and come back and then tell you what I think of this foundation and concealer and powder and bronzer. Okay, see you in a sec. So I finished my face. I've just quickly used makeup and UAs on my eyes just a little bit. Some mascara, this blush, and this is a highlighter. So I'm gonna wear this for a little bit, see how it performs and come back to you and see what it looks like at the end of the day. Bye. Hi, um, so I forgot to film last night regarding the review on the MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Foundation. So, I've used it a few times, and it's not that I don't like it, I do like it. It's a great drugstore foundation. I just feel if you've got discoloration, any kind of, not blemishes, but any kind of just discoloration, a blackhead, a spot, anything like that. Um, yeah, so it's not like I haven't used this foundation. I do like it, I just feel where I've got some discoloration here like you can even see it and I'm using a completely different foundation today like that's my issue I'm gonna have that issue even when I color correct it doesn't get rid of it so like here's my worst side so this is not the same foundation I'm using a different one today so sorry but that's the only issue I have it says it's meant to be full coverage it's meant to be it, it meant to hide blemishes and stuff it doesn't hide mine but everyone else is different i do like the foundation i like their products they are my first kind of bits of makeup worth from her then when i started buying like when i started buying my makeup and going i want to do this my first thing was a palette from mua like so because it was like two pounds i was like let me try that and see what i can do with it and start playing with makeup so it, they're a good brand. It's a good foundation when you're on a budget. It does do what it says on the tin. The fact that I found a colour for me straight away, I'm happy with. 170 is my colour. I'm very happy with that. This is great. Like, this will be my summer shade. This is my... When I get tan, this is what I go. So it's like I've found my <coughs> summer shade. Bam. So I'm sorry it's late. I'm sorry I couldn't do an update. I'll show you how it is. It does wear well. It definitely does. It doesn't separate you. Do I didn't get a build up of any grease around here or on my forehead. Um, so yeah, it's a great product. So try it. I will keep using it. And when I do do a video, I will mention it just because it's drugstore. Just because majority of times when you go on their website, it's half price. So where can you go wrong? Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.